Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 23rd tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. Now in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to perform arithmetic operations in our shell scripts. And what I mean by that is, uh, if suppose you have two variables and both of them have numbers, uh, then you can add them, you can subtract them, you can divide them, multiply them, and you can also perform the modular division. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my text editor because we're going to do all this through the uh, through a shell script and I'm going to save this file first before typing in anything and I'll give it the name ss8.sh I'll save it in my home folder and uh, I put a comment first something like arithmetic operations and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two variables a and b and in A, I'm going to store a uh, number, uh, you can put anything, I'll put 30. And in B, I'm going to store another number, I'll put 15 in A, right? And uh, then on the next line, I'm going to add these numbers. And uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to type in dollar $A and uh, I'll give a space and I'll use the addition symbol and then I'll type in dollar $B. And on the next line, I'm going to subtract b from a so or maybe yeah that's what i'm going to do so dollar a space then minus sign and then dollar b on the next line i'm going to multiply these two numbers and i i'll use the asterisk or the multiplication symbol to multiply them but i told you guys that uh asterisk is a symbol that has some special meaning to the shell it basically refers to all files or directories, all items that you have in your current directory, right? So we would want to take the special meaning away from the asterisk symbol before using it in the sense in which we want to. And the way you do that is by using the backslash. It's a character that you would find uh, under your backspace on the keyboard. And you put it before asterisk and it would become the normal multiplication operator, right? And then I'll also divide the variable a by b and I'll type in dollar a space the division operator and then dollar b and uh, what else can i do i also perform the modular division I'll, I'll tell you guys about it what the modular division means in just a second and uh, there you go but then we haven't used any command right we haven't used any program to basically perform these operations how would the shell know what this means i mean for for the shell this could be just another statement now there is a command that would instruct the shell to not just treat this statement or these statements as ordinary statements but as mathematical expressions and the statement or the command is expr so i would type in expr before each and every statement that i've got in this program There you go, and there has to be a space after expr as well. And uh, that is it, that's pretty much all you have to do. But we're not going to just evaluate these expressions, right? We also have to display them on screen. And how do you display something on screen using the echo statement? So I'm going to echo out these results for you on screen. that's it now my script is almost ready it's like 99% of the work has been done only 1% remains and that 1% is very crucial now when I would execute the statement in the shell then the shell would probably think that okay I basically want to echo out this on screen but how would it know that it has to evaluate this statement first and then output the actual uh, result of the statement on screen and not the statement itself the shell would you know think that okay you know these are just words expr is one word dollar a is another word and then i have the symbol here and then i have dollar b is another word so let me just uh, output these five or six words on screen right but we don't want it to do that so what we would have to do is we would have to use our reverse quotes something that we studied in uh, one of the previous tutorials and uh, what the reverse quotes would do is the reverse quotes would uh, you know uh, instruct the shell to first evaluate these statements and you know find out the result of each of these statements and then echo the results out and not these statements uh, themselves right so there you go that's it my script is now ready and I can execute it 
and let me first save it it's gonna take some time yeah it's done now so I have my terminal here and I'm gonna simply use sh and type in the name of my file which is ss8.sh and when I press the enter key I have all these results now what is 30 plus 15 it's 45 what do we have we have 45 okay what is the next thing 30 minus 15 which is 15 so I have 15 on screen on the next line we have uh, the multiplication so 30 times 15 is 450 we have 450 on the next line we have 30 divided by 15 which is 2 we have 2 and on the last line we have modular division now what modular division means is that the shell would uh, basically divide dollar a with dollar b and it would see if there is any remainder or not now 30 is perfectly divisible by 15 so the remainder is 0 but if I change uh, 30 and if I put something else like uh, let's say if I put uh, 37 here then 15 times 2 is 30 and 7 would remain as a remainder right so 7 would be the output of uh, the last statement let me clear the terminal for you and when I execute it you see that on the last statement I have 7 right now one major drawback with EXPR is that it works with only uh, integer values which means that if I would have 37.78 here then it would basically not work it would not give me the correct output now there is uh, another tool that you use to perform arithmetic operations with your fractional numbers and that tool is called BC and that's something that we'll be checking out later but in this tutorial that's all I wanted to share with you guys so thank you so much for watching this one it really means a lot to me and uh, hope to see you guys in the next tutorial and uh, please subscribe to my channel